Well, hello there. So a few months ago, I made a bot that takes voice notes, like the one that I'm recording right now, transcribes them to near perfect text and automatically sends that transcription along with a summary to my note-taking database in Notion. Over the past few months, it has become one of my most used workflows. I am constantly taking notes with my voice when I'm out for long walks, but today I am bringing you a new and vastly improved version of that workflow because the original one had some problems. First and foremost, it took way too long to set up. Secondly, it couldn't really handle super long audio files capped out at about 45 minutes of audio. And thirdly, there were very few options for customization. So I have spent the last few months absolutely coding my face off, pushing my coding skills to the limit to bring you a much improved new version. It is now way easier to set up. It can handle way longer audio files. Two hour files are now no problem for it. And finally, there's a lot more customization now. You can turn summaries on or off. You can choose what kind of summary lists you get. You can even change the length and the density of the summaries that you're going to get. So so in this video, I'm going to number one, give you this workflow for free to use and number two, show you exactly how to set it up. Once you've got it set up, you can then take a voice note on your iPhone's voice memos app or basically any smartphone voice memo app, upload it to cloud storage. And from there, well, here's a quick look at what's gonna happen with that audio. It's gonna hit your cloud storage and then the little bot we're gonna set up is going to automatically use OpenAI's Whisper endpoint to transcribe it to near perfect text. And then it will use ChatGPT to summarize that transcript and send everything over to Notion using a bunch of the code that I've written behind the scenes. So here is exactly how to set this up using my new onboarding guide, which you're gonna find in the description down below. This should make it really, really easy to set this workflow up. And another big improvement that I forgot to mention is there are now three different versions of the workflow. There's one for Dropbox, there's one for Google Drive, and there's one for Microsoft OneDrive. I'm gonna walk through the Dropbox version in this video, but all three versions have multi-step, super easy to follow guides. So check that link out in the description down below and you'll be able to follow along with whichever one you want. So starting out with Dropbox, I'm gonna to go to this little Dropbox version here. And step one is to click this little link right here, which will just automatically bring the new version of the workflow into your Pipedream account. And if you don't have a Pipedream account, it is basically my favorite automation platform. You're gonna be prompted to create a new account when you click this link, and you can use the free plan to run this automation perfectly well. You do not need to upgrade to one of Pipedream's paid plans. Pipedream's free plan is super duper useful. So I'm gonna click this link right here. That is going to import the workflow into my Pipedream account and there is this new projects feature. So I'm going to create this Notion Voice Notes Dropbox project, and then it is going to give me the option of naming my workflow if I want to. I'm just gonna keep it as is, and I'll hit Create Workflow right there. And at that point, we now have this trigger to set up. So this is basically the trigger that is going to be tripped anytime we upload a new file to our chosen Dropbox folder. So to start this, I'm going to connect my Dropbox account by clicking this little box right here. And now I need to set the path, basically a folder that this automation is going to watch. So I'll want to upload my audio files to that specific folder instead of just to any folder in my Dropbox. And then these settings should be set for you. The one you wanna check is that include link is set to true. From there, I can click create source. And the next thing you're gonna see is this little select event area where it basically wants you to upload an audio file to Dropbox to generate what's called a test event. And a test event is what we are going to use to set up the rest of the workflow, test it, and then deploy it so it'll be live. So in the onboarding guide, in one of these steps, I think it is uh, step four here, uh, this basically shows you everything you need to do to upload a test audio file. I've actually provided a link to one. So if you don't happen to have one handy right now, you can just download that from my GitHub account. I've already done so. So I'm gonna go over to my tweet thread transcripts area and I'm going to simply drag my sample audio file into my Dropbox folder. And if I go back over to Pipe Dream, I can go into this little event selector and I can find that same audio file right here. And once I click that, I'm going to get a success message. And now we have uh, basically some trigger data to work with for the rest of the automation. You don't have to worry about any of this. If you want to explore it, you can, but I'm going to head down and hit continue and go on to our Notion voice notes component. So this is basically a custom component that I built. There's a ton of code behind the scenes, which I do have live on GitHub if you are curious, and it's basically going to replace all of those those multi-step workflows we had to build before to do this. So first and foremost, I'm going to connect my Notion account and I can do that by going through this little Notion uh, auth flow here. And when you're doing this, you want to make sure that first you select the workspace you wanna use. 
I'm going to use this super demo space for now. And then going over to select pages here, you just want to make sure that you either give pipe dream access to the notes database you want to use for this automation in notion or to a page that contains that database, which will make the permissions kind of cascade into that database. And this automation works for any notion database. So I'm going to be using my ultimate brain template as the example here. This is my all in one second brain template for notion. It's got a task manager, a note taking system. It works really well with this automation. But like I said, you can use any notion database. In fact, if you came down to your private pages here, you made a notes database. That was just a brand new blank database. This would work for this automation. I'll have more information about ultimate brain at the end of the video, in case you are interested and want to support my work. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to check that ultimate brain box, hit allow access. And now you can see my notion account is connected to this step. There are also some instructions here. So check over these in case you find them helpful. But the next thing we need to do actually is add an open AI API key. Basically an open AI account is what's going to allow you to utilize both that whisper endpoint for transcribing your audio and the chat GPT endpoint for summarizing the text transcript. So the way you can connect your uh, chat GPT account here is by clicking this little box and then entering an API key from open AI. And the way you can get that is by going over to platform.openai.com. If you don't already have an account, you can create one and they will give you $5 of free trial credit though I will note after that trial credit expires, you do need to make a new API key that uh, is set up after you add your billing details. But basically once you are inside of OpenAI's little platform website here, you'd go to the little personal link at the top right, you'd go to view API keys, and then you'd make yourself a new secret key. Before I do that, I do want to quickly go over to the billing area and point out this usage limits tab here. So once you actually add in your billing information, if you want to make sure that you can never be build more than a certain amount each month, go ahead and set a hard limit right here. I have mine set to hundred by default, 120. And you could even go way, way lower than that because this workflow is very cheap to use. It's about 40 cents per hour of transcribed audio, which is incredibly cheap. I used to pay a dollar per minute for my YouTube captions. Okay. Going back over to API keys. All you need to do is hit create a secret key. Uh, I'm just going to call it September 19th in this case. And then we will copy that key to our clipboard and add it into our little API key field right here and hit save. Next, we can set up our options for this workflow. So first you're gonna see this previous step data little field here, go ahead and leave that as is. It's going to pass in information from our trigger step up here. So just let it do its thing. Here we have these summary options. So you can check or uncheck any of these boxes and they are basically going to give you different lists of bullet points that kind of summarize your transcript. Summary is the one exception here. That's just gonna be a paragraph summary of the transcript itself and will be above the transcript. But main points, action items, all of these are going to basically be lists that you could turn on or off. So I'm just going to leave them as their defaults for now. And then you can select your database. So this is going to be the notion database where your notes are actually going to go. And if you are using ultimate brain, you're even going to see this little helpful message here saying that all notes is the database used for ultimate brains, note taking system. So I will choose that. And once that's chosen, some additional properties are going to come up. The only one you have to fill out is note title. And I'm just going to choose the title property in my database. Uh, you can also choose some other properties. So if you have a number type property in your database for tracking the duration, you can select that. I have made one of my own. I've also done the same for note cost. And that is going to, if I have an example here, I can show you, uh, bring in these little pieces of information, which can basically just show you how long your transcript is and how much it costs to run the entire automation on it. And if you don't want these properties up here, I also have the cost information going down to the bottom of the page as well. So I'm going to set those as they are. I'm not actually going to set a note tag here, but you can, and you can also choose a different chat GPT model if you want to. So by default, we are going to use the GPT 3.5 turbo model, which is the cheapest one. And is also very capable for this use case. But if you want, you can choose any of these, including GPT-4, the new 16K context version of GPT-3.5, which can handle a lot more in the context window, but you don't really need it. And that is mostly due to some code optimizations I've done under the hood, which will basically split your audio file and the transcript into chunks and then concurrently send those chunks to OpenAI, which basically makes all this stuff happen at once and allows you to transcribe and work with much longer audio files within PipeDream's timeout limits, which were our main 
important limiting factor in the past. So that is all we need to do. I'm gonna hit test and we are gonna see how exactly this works. And here it is. We've got some export information here that you can check out if you are curious, but I'm gonna go back over to Notion. I'm going to go to my notes area and we can see here we have a brand new transcript. Why Pokemon is a great example subject for learning coding. It actually is. So that my friends is how you would set this up. Uh, if we wanted to add some more summary options in here, we could come up to our summary options checklist and add stories, references, arguments, related topics. Let's go with those for now. Do one more test. There is our success message. And going back over to Notion, we have a brand new note that popped in. And now we can see we have quite a few other new sections. We have references and citations. We have arguments and areas for improvement in the transcript. If you were trying to persuade someone, this would be a great option to enable. But overall, you just have a lot more customizability when it comes to using this workflow. And speaking of that, I want to go back over and briefly touch on this little enable advanced options toggle. I'm not going to go over everything that I've added in here, but if you want to push this workflow to its limit, you want to make it run a lot faster on Pipe Dream, or you want to push it to transcribe really lengthy audio files, like three or four hours long, read through these options and you will start to understand some of the things that you can do to uh, change the performance of this workflow. Uh, also, I now have the ability to actually push updates to this specific component. So if there is an update, you are actually going to see a red update button here in the top right corner of this Notion voice notes action. And that will actually allow you to get updates if we find a bug or there's improvements without having to recopy the entire workflow and set it up from scratch again. Of course, once you're finished with all your settings, go ahead and hit that deploy button. That is going to make your workflow live. And at this point, the workflow is now ready. It's active and it's going to start processing any uploaded audio files. And lastly, if you want to improve this workflow even further, like I said earlier, it works really well with my ultimate brain template for Notion. This workflow works with any Notion database, but if you want the best note-taking setup for Notion with a built-in journal feature, a lot of useful dashboards, and a ton of other productivity features like a task manager, a projects dashboard, GTD, and para integration from building a second brain, then you, my friend, want to check out Ultimate Brain. It is what I wanted Notion to be back when I discovered it back in 2018, a all-in-one personal productivity system that handles everything coming into my life. It completely eliminates the need to juggle tons of different productivity apps, and if you, my friend, would like to get that same superpower, you can go over to thomasjfrank.com slash brain to get your copy. And right now you can also use the code let's go 2023 to get 50 bucks off of any edition. And unlike a lot of other Notion templates you're going to find out there, Ultimate Brain comes with active support. So if you have questions, if you get stuck, if you have ideas for new features, we have a full support community with Notion certified support staff and they answer every single question. You are not going to get stuck. So once again, thomasjfrank.com slash brain to check out the template and get your copy and make sure to use that code let's go 2023 to get your 50 bucks off thanks as always for watching i had a lot of fun putting this automation together if you have other automations that you're interested in building into your notion workspace let me know about them in the comments down below and i'll also note on my site there's this little learn notion uh super menu here and i've got all sorts of different pages from the fundamentals to databases to formulas that you can use to learn all about notion become an expert and there's this little notion automations page where you're going to find other automations automations you can build, like bringing your YouTube stats into Notion, creating tasks with your voice. I haven't made that video yet, but the blog post is live. So check that out. All the links are in the description down below. Follow me on Twitter at Tom Frankly if you want to talk shop, talk Notion, talk no code, or ask questions. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.